Hi everyone and welcome to assembling video for Unistock Mark 1. So the last video uh, is good but I have a few upgrades to every part of Uni that's why we're doing this. Let's assemble the butt with the rail. We need to find out the position, align with the holes. Now it's important to screw it together with the rail. We take now a 4 cm screw and 3 cm screw. It goes through, then the nut. Now there is a cavity for a nut, so you can slide it in and screw it all the way. Now it's good to use some kind of pliers if you have one. It, you can use just the fingers to tighten it up, but just a you know, slight uh, tightening will, will be better for the uni. So one screw, now let's add another one from the top, screw it together, a slight tightening and we got it. It's important to have it because when you put the pressure on it you might destroy the plastic so remember to screw those two screws. Now the butt is equipped with the lever instead of a screw. This means that it's going to be much faster to switch the weapons and it's indestructible. So this is the solution for the problem I had before. Let's check. Fantastic. So one more thing in the butt. What you can do is you can slide your butt itself if you feel like it's not uh, big enough for you. You can slide it and then use given one centimeter screw M3 and just find your position and screw it together. This will make uh, your butt uh, the, the length you prefer to have. Super fast. Uh, let's go for the handles now. So the handles are pretty much the same with one exception. Let's put them here. One, screw tightly. Two, yeah, we need to do the rubber first. Take off the cup. Our traction system. Thread it through, like so. It can be either this way or the other way. It does not matter much, but you can experiment with both. So this is our uh, front handle. Let's slide it. And now it's easier to add your retraction system and boundary. Then put your rubber on the retraction system. This way. And now we can adjust all our front handle and the retraction system to our distance that we prefer. If we find it, then screw it tightly uh, on the uh, handle and it should uh, align with our hole. So now I have this hole aligned. I will take my two centimeter screw. I can see that this hole is perfectly aligned with my, uh, with my uh, retraction system. Slide the nut in and screw it tightly. Now I'm going to use uh, my screwdriver to fasten this up, but it should go with your hands. Just so it will grab the nut. And this is um, pretty much done. But I want to say, say a few, few more words and tell you what the rest thing here going to do for us. Every cup now in uh, uni will be equipped with ability to add the straps. So there will be a bag with additional straps for, for every handle. Those are the straps. You will get two of those screws and an Allen key, hex key, whatever the country you are in. We need to first uh, insert the controllers into the cups, like before. Thread it through here. Slide in. Now take the, this, the spacers, two will be enough if you would like to have more friction at uh, three or even four if you would like to have a more distance uh, between controllers, I mean if, you're, if your hands are too big you will add another spacer and it will go a little bit further from the base, from here to here 
you will have more uh, space. I will do the two spacers. Okay, let's slide them in just so we can see it. Right, like, like this. Push them in. I got my friction. First one, let's do this for the second one. Thread it through. Align. Take two spacers. Put the spacers in like so push in and we got our controllers uh, installed now we're gonna install the straps that are given in every uh, package of uni take your strap put it this way so you will have velcro outside and um, uh, rubber gum behind the um, uh, ring now grab the strap and thread it through while uh, leaving the plastic below uh, the ring, this way, like this. Okay, now what we need to do is put our rubber gum uh, behind this plastic. It's not hard, just do it so. You can see that the rubber gum is on the other side, and this will give us this situation here. So now we can move this part over here, and now, we can undo the velcro. Now we need to stick this part to the hole. Just stick it in. Take the screw, M3 screw. Push it through. It should go through without any difficulties. Just push all the way. Slide it through. So it will uh, align with the hole. And use your Allen key to screw it all the way. I will use my screwdriver. Okay. All the way to the blockage. Don't over tight, just so it will be screwed together. First one, let's go for the second one. You will have to have it from your back, so we're gonna have to go with the stripe on our uh, back hand here. So, once again, Velcro so we can see it. Plastic stays here, then uh, th thread it through the rubber gum, bend the rubber gum all the way to the plastic, through the plastic, so we will have this, yeah, undo the velcro, push it through the uh, hole, and push the screw through. All right, we have the align. Let's screw it tightly, I mean tightly, just tightly. Perfect. Now let's mount it to our hands. So here we will be using our teeth. So let's grab a controller. This plastic here will uh, give us a distance from the ring to the hand, so it will stay in the proper position. If you have a bigger hand, you can take out those two parts. There is a, a half centimeter part. There's a two of them. If you have a bigger hand, you can take up, up to one centimeter of the uh, straps out of the strap. And then we'll, you will uh, have uh, enough space for your hand. So what we do, we open, we grab here our controller. With our second hand, we um, back up our Velcro here and here. And now we're going to use teeth. This way, you have a good connection. And once you do, do this, you pr pr pretty much have a glove. You can insert your hand in and out. Now you can see that my hand actually exactly fits to uh, the controller, the, the buttons. If something is not right, I can move it forward and backward on the ring or on the hand. And now I don't need to actually hold my um, uh, controller to uh, steer or, or do whatever on the controllers. This is Beautiful. This is, it works perfectly. Unfortunately, Unistock have more abilities than this. Actually, let's do the same, this, the same exact situation for the, for the other hand. Let's, let's um, wear the first one. We're going to grab. We're going to put our two fingers here and use our teeth to lock. And now I have perfectly uh, set two controllers. I can really free throw the grenades or whatever. But this means that I won't be able to move my hand around the uni stock. So these straps are perfect for games without the uni. 
You can also, of course, use it with the uni, uh, the old school way, without uh, switching guns or stuff. But you know, uni stack can do more than just uh, be ordinary uh, gun stack. Okay, let's mount them on the uh, uh, on the gun stack. One and two. Now, uh, the retraction system. The retraction system tends to fall off, so I did the uh, necessary um, uh, precautions to avoid it. I have added another hole through uh, the retraction system hook. So now we will take uh, our last screw, unscrew, go through, and now just put the nut here, hold it and screw it. Not, not tightly, just so, just so. Just so we will have enough friction to hold it. That's perfect. This will give us, you know, system that will never fall off. So, this is the uni that you will get in your box, and it is it's fully assembled. You also, of course, uh, want to add a leash. This time this piece is glued together with the butt for better control. Let's lock it. Turn it over. Let's set. Uh, this is our setup. And now lock it, and here we have a ready uni. Everything here, what you see in this video, will be uh, in your box. So also, so it's gonna um, uh, contain uh, the straps, the leash, of course the uni, all the screws, all the distances, and the Allen key uh, that you will use for um, for your strap. If you would like to see how the uni works. Go check my uh, channel, I've been uh, adding new uh, videos about uh, how it works and what, you can, uh, what kind of weapons you can uh, use and how fast you can change it uh, during the game. If you would like to go deeper, check my uh, Twitch account, I'm streaming uh, the games. Uh, if you want to see really how, how it's done during the game, go follow us on Facebook, uh, please subscribe here on the, on the YouTube and have a great day. Thank you very much and see you. Bye.